tell you about TDN normalized component, how it is going to work. And now, before that, I will see one example file. See here, I'm taking one uh, norm D norm sheet where uh, we have two columns, name and the post. Here, in name, X person may have taken Java course, C plus plus, or some other course, whereas Y person has taken only Java course. And coming to Z person, he has taken .NET and Java. Here, we need to uh, insert into the database or into a file in such a way that uh, X has taken Java and C plus plus. In the same way, Y has taken only Java, whereas Z has taken .NET and Java. So this is our, these two are our desired output. Okay. So now we need to get that one. Go for talent and create one metadata file Excel. Create file Excel. I'm taking as denormalize. Denorm. And the location of file is D. Talent files. Let me close this one. Now I'm taking sheet one because I'm using only sheet one over here and I'm setting this as setting head row as column names. Now uh, before we proceed we need to see preview also. So just let it come. Preview. Yes, this is our information which we have in the file. Go for next. Finish. Now, uh, just here. This is file. So, you go to Excel. Just take a field of row. Now connect this with main. This main. Here, um, synchronize column you should do. So that here the schema repeats. Now here we need to select which column we need to do denormalize. Uh, I'm going for course because I need course and I'm taking the delimiter as comma. Here I'm using the mid same value. If at all the Java repeats twice or else the same person has taken the same course, even duplicate occurs, it is going to match that one. So just run. Same. Here our uh, output is x, y, z and the x person has taken Java and C++, y person has taken only the Java codes and z person has taken .NET and Java. Thank you.